Hey Simleys and welcome to part 9 of Let's Build a Houseboat. Houseboat is looking pretty good and I actually kind of half recorded this part already and then I kind of lost it. So basically we're starting with the first couple of changes I made and that was I actually moved the spiral staircase that led down to the basement underneath the other one because uh, a lot of you guys were like why don't you put the spiral staircases on top of one another and expand the basement uh, or the under decking where the grandkids room is. So thank you for that. I have no idea why I didn't do that in the first place but that is why I have you guys for feedback because it's uh, clearly awesome. Now, uh, what else did I do? I put a parrot up here. I found some ores that we're going to use later. So stay tuned for that. And I also put this random uh, thing there from World Adventures. Because someone earlier on in the series said, why don't you use like um, bits and bobs from World Adventures? So it looks like Bill and Esther kind of collected them from their channel, uh, channels? What am I on about? What are you on, Dello? From their travels, Jesus. Anyway, in the last part, we did this room and uh, there was a lot of mixed messages about the paint job and the colors, but the thing is, I actually really like it. So I've decided to keep it um, that way, but that by no means means you cannot uh, change it if you want to download this when it's finished and of course it'll be available for download. Uh, so uh, that is all good and well. Now I'm gonna make a little area over here I think like a TV area for the kids, uh, for the Kitty Winkles. Uh, so let's pop in a TV here. I just feel like the TV should totally be silver. I don't know why but we'll do that. And of course we're gonna uh, put these shelves underneath because a few of you guys were saying that you didn't like the idea of the shelves kind of obstructing the window uh, which yeah I think that's fair enough uh, that's cool no no hard feelings there uh, I'm loving the feedback on this series actually there have been some great feedback uh, but as a reminder if you have some criticism I'm happy to receive criticism as long as it's delivered in such a way that is respectful uh, usually I like usually you guys are awesome similes are generally awesome at YouTube feedback and comments and whatnot uh, but a couple of times it's been a bit uh, a little bit harsh the word uh, it's probably the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so uh, just just a friendly reminder there to remember that the person recording the video it does have feelings <laughs> as well. Uh, okay I'm gonna change this to white I think because I don't know it looks like a different kind of fish doesn't have to necessarily be a shark and I think those shark bean bags look good because it's like I don't know sea theme if you guess my drift. Now the other thing I was thinking of using are those cushions from the Generations expansion pack. Where are the cushions at? Oh, you know what? This is going to take forever so we're just going to go ahead and filter. Uh, and there they are. I think they'll just look kind of nice behind the bean bags, like they've just kind of been piled up behind there. And uh, maybe we'll experiment with a few different colors and patterns. Although we've already got a lot going on here, so we might actually keep it pretty, pretty plain and simple uh, for now. Anyway, uh, we can always go back and change it. Lovely, cool, cool bananas. So that's a nice little TV area. I feel like what's missing there is that they would like to play uh, a console of some kind. So we're just going to whack it under there. Awesome. Uh, now, what what do we want to put? I feel like this carpet should should the carpet move there or should the carpet be like kind of like that? That's better. Oh, someone also said, why don't you put some uh, shelves next to the bunk beds? That was a good idea as well. Uh, so the people on oh oh bananas. Okay, put that back. Uh, so we'll lift that up so the person in the upper bunk can have like a little shelf or we could use this one which is a little bit shorter. Can they get into the bed though? I think they can. Uh, I'm pretty sure they can still. We can test that out though quickly. Where are you Esther girl? Let's get you into this bunk bed. Uh, we'll just check those staircases work as well. 
let's see. Oh, she wants to woohoo in the all-in-one bathroom. She's such a naughty lady. She's still got it, uh, which is good. Now, is she going to be able to get up there? Oh yeah, she's all good in the hood. Great, so she's having a snoozle while we finish this up. Uh, that's all good and well. Is this going to make it that pattern? I feel like it is. And we only want it to be white. Oh. Also, I've just been recording uh, the Q&A video, so that'll be up probably in the next couple of days, next three days maybe, three days away, because uh, I still have to edit it down. But it's recorded, uh, which is good, because you guys have been asking for another Q&A for a while now. And there were some really good questions, like really, really interesting ones. I think one that was particularly interesting was, uh, oh, we're not going to be able to put that up there. Hmm, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Can we put the pencils up on the shelf? Oh, it's not going to let us. Can we actually... Mm, I feel like it's... Okay. All right, I see what we're doing here. Now, what question is, what kind of light? I feel like it should just be like a really simple light, like something like this. Uh, that's from the store, I believe. Oh, typical. It's not going to move. Can we... The only problem with shelves in The Sims 3 is, like, it's impossible to stick things up there. Like... Ugh. And don't take that what I just said the wrong way, because I feel like some some cheeky simile would be like, hoo hoo hoo, uh, what I just said. But don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, good grief. Uh, okay, so we've got that. Maybe just like a little tea light would be fine on this side. And uh, on this side we can put like a little alarm clock. Uh, but we'll do the other alarm clock, the one that's like a bit more modern looking, this one. Uh, oh, 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 we nearly got it. We nearly got it. Yep. Okay, we've got a little alarm clock up there. Nice one. Uh, okay, so we've got those little shelves. Lovely. Okay, I'm also wanting to put like... Oh, this lantern should be moved. Uh, will it fit under the TV? I swear these shelves. Is there like a trick with these shelves to make it easier to place things on? Uh, now I'm wanting to get that little duvalaki that's from by the bug mode uh, testing cheats enabled true and then we're gonna pop on by the bug like that and it's it came with midnight hollow it's like it came from the toy making machine and I really like the color of it and the design of it uh, while we're at it <laughs> well while we're at it can we put that up there no okay uh, while we're at it, we've got a bit of a boat theme going on, but what we want to find, I hope I can find it, yes. Found it, I'm glad that didn't take too long because that would have been a bit awkward. Uh, okay, let's change the colour of this. For some reason I feel like it should be a light yellow. I'm not sure why, I can't really explain why, but I just got that gut feeling, so we're putting yellow in. Uh, and... And, 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 what can go in the corner here? Maybe they need a bit of a bookshelf because the kids want to be educated or something like that. Uh, so they can read, read a nice book if they so feel like it. Is this light floating? No, that's okay. Uh, so let's just make this a uh, white color would probably be a good idea. Like that. Hopefully it'll process in a second. Lovely. And I also want to add, uh, you guys, I have put my phone on airplane mode, airplane mode, so it will not go off uh, during during this part of the let's build. So that that's a big deal if you've been watching the other parts or my other videos. My my uh, phone always goes off, and I've been trying to make an effort to do that. Uh, so. Clap, claps and snaps for Deli, eh? Uh, now where is... I'm looking... I'm actually looking for that little boat. I think it came with... 
Oh, generations. This was also mentioned in the comments to use the little boat. Uh, generations, or was it? I feel like generations and ambitions kind of go hand in hand. Like often something I want to find is usually in one or the other. Where is the boat? Here it is. There we go. Uh, do we want the boat under there? And then maybe we can have two boats. Is two boats too keen? I don't think so. It's never too keen to have lots of boats. Um, okay. Put another one here. Get that boat theme happening. Now, how is this looking for lighting? It's pretty good. It's pretty snug. All right. Moving on up into the world. Uh... So, which one do I want to work on first? Do we want to work on... Let's go to Bill and Esther's room. Uh, I have a bit of an idea for this room, and I did actually darken the wallpaper. Originally, we had this peachy colour in there, but I've darkened it because I want it to link to the upstairs, because there needs to be a bit of a visual link between the two levels. So that is why we have done that, and I reckon we go all out, and we use the island paradise bed. Oh, actually... Sorry guys, but I just remembered, I I think what would actually go better here, this was also included in the comments and that is a crib uh, in case the grandkids have, in case the grandkids are a toddler. So I'm going to just quickly whack one in. Uh, I think I want to use this one from the store because I think it's rather ravishing and uh, okay, that's that one. And Maybe we can just put like a striped pattern on there to kind of go with the stripes on the wall. Or well, that might potentially be a little bit stripey. Uh, so maybe we'll just go with this kind of a thing. I don't know. I'm just experimenting here. Uh, or blue. I mean, it's very matchy matchy. I feel like. I feel like stripes would be good. Yeah, I I actually like the stripes. I, I have a feeling not everyone will like that, but I, I like it. I like it. We're going to keep that. And uh, we're going to put maybe like a little duvalaki to hang above it. Uh, what are they called? Like a dial. Dial of some kind. Yay! So then there can be a baby in the house. I don't know if it's okay to put a bassinet downstairs away from the parents' room. Uh, but we could say they have an intercom of some kind, uh, maybe. I wouldn't know because I haven't had a baby, but hopefully we're doing the right thing here. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, we'll just get a few other colors into the room. Cool. Nice. Alrighty. Moving back on up. Now, Esther and Bill's room. We're going to make this look so pretty. Uh, but still, they are elders, so we want to make it look somewhat conservative. Uh, now, where is the bed I'm thinking of that came with Island Paradise? It's somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. I'm going blind. Uh, showtime. Oh my gosh, I am seriously blind, and I know someone, I know you guys are going to be yelling at me where it is. Oh gosh, okay. We'll, uh, we'll just do a sneaky filter again. Here we go. There she is. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, so I'm thinking we make the wood on it. Of course, it looks like, like I want it to look like kind of driftwood, beachy wood, uh, so we're going to grey it out a little bit like that and I don't like it how it's metal there we're gonna make it all all wooden and this I think I wanna hmm I want it to be something neutral because we're gonna put something behind the bed head and I think it's better to keep it simple but we kind of like the islandy look I think so if we go to Weave and Wicker and get, like, I know obviously you wouldn't have a wicker duna cover, but let's use our imagination here and see it as a textured fabric, okay? So not necessarily wicker, but textured fabric. Uh, Alright, so let's just... We want this to be, like, white. Because um, I think this looks nice. It looks kind of modern, but still beachy and still conservative for them. Uh, I hope you guys are not, like, 
WTF Deli, what are you doing? Uh, but in my opinion, it looks okay. Uh, okay, so what we're going to put behind the bed head, which is what I thought of a little while ago, are these oars. And these oars actually came from... Where did they come from? I believe they came from Seasons. Uh, the Seasons expansion pack. So we're going to kind of put them behind the bed and make them look kind of cool. Um, but I actually love this idea. Like, I would potentially do this behind my own bed if I had an islandy theme in my house. <laughs> uh, I seriously would. The question is, what colors are we going to whack on here? I think we'll go for, like, <sighs> some oranges. So we've got blue in here. Yeah, I, rec I reckon we can go for some orange. Uh, so let's. We could go like a mangoey color. Let's. Mm. Oh, decisions, decisions. Let's let's. I'm feeling that I want to try this one first. So we could make this plain, and then we could go over to here. Oh, we'll go over to this one actually, and we'll get a bit of. A little bit of orange into here, or mangoey color, like that. And this one, I'm not feeling this pattern. That's for sure. We could use this one. Um, hmm. This one will incorporate the colors we've already used, so that's probably a good idea. And we can kind of have a play around, to making it all tie in. I mean, I think that works quite nicely. Might keep that. Uh, because they have been traveling, right? They've been around the world a couple of times. Uh, you know, they're keeping it real. They've collected a few different uh, items here and there. Where's the handle on this? There we go. And uh, I reckon the bed should probably match this bedside table. Uh, so we're gonna carry the wood across like this and do we want it all matchy matchy or somewhat matchy matchy let's do somewhat matchy matchy and well, I kind of liked the wicker down there but we're gonna gray it out a bit because it's a little bit brown bronzed uh, we want to make it a bit more natural fabulous and pop one on the other side because uh, we've got these lights on the wall maybe we should make them a bit lower so Esther and Bill can kind of lean across and turn them off and uh, we're gonna put all the things you need or all the things you ooh maybe they can have an underwater camera just for just for funsies <gasps> ah I hate when that happens <laughs> freak out uh, okay so we'll put a fern there we're gonna put an alarm clock so they are on time for fishing perhaps I don't know <laughs> I don't know what you need to be on time for if you've retired and uh, and uh, you live on a houseboat and live in luxury every day I'm not quite sure but I'm sure there are things I need to be on time with let's put this frame in uh, we'll put a nice picture in there not quite sure what yet but we'll get to it and maybe just a you know, a box of tissues. I mean, who doesn't need a box of tissues next to their bed uh, for when you get those awkward sneezles during the night? So we'll pop that on there. Or maybe we'll pop it on this side. And, uh, you know, they might want to write in their travel diary while they're in bed as well. So we'll put that on there. And, of course, last but not least, we always like to have some fresh flowers on the bedside because that's just, that's just pretty, isn't it? Okay, so we've got that going on. Uh, there's something missing, and I think it's the color of this frame. I think this should have a pop of color. And that means we need to make it more of a... Uh, like a solid color. We don't want red, because that's what we just had. Maybe we can go the mango color again. Oh, we could go blue, but we've already got a lot of blue. Uh, we'll go mango. It reminds me, if you've been watching uh, the Let's Play with 
The Sims, Supply and I, and Zavi from our Let's Build series, uh, <laughs> he uh, wears little, I don't, what do you call it when boys wear those little like shorty shorties uh, when they go swimming? Not shorties, they're like man undies, speedos, speedos, or budgie smugglers, or whatever you call them. Yes, he has mango speedos, and uh, wow, I always think that light's going to be much bigger than it is. Um, but yeah, it just reminded me of beautiful Zavi. Uh, he's, he's a bit of a funny one, but we adore him. Now, where's that? Oh, I swear there was another lamp from Island Paradise. Here we go. Maybe we can pop that in the corner over here. Uh, something like this. Maybe we can put a bit of wood onto this one. So it's a bit different to the others that are already in the house. Um, so let's maybe go like this and like this. Oh, oh dear, oh my, we don't want that. We do not want that. I thought that was gonna change the base of it. Um, okay, get some, oh, that's fun. I like this pattern. It's a bit different unusual um let's kind of stick that like that lovely lovely dovely okay alrighty guys well that bedroom is coming along quite nicely I do think and uh oh, should they have another tv here I feel like a tv like another one would be a bit of an overkill uh and that is not enough room for a wardrobe we might actually have to put a sneaky one uh, you know what, we're going to have to move the door here, put the wardrobe there, and we're going to put the sneaky light over there. And I feel like one isn't enough, so we're actually going to just double this up, like so. So it's kind of like it's grown another, another portion of itself, which actually sounds really, really, really creepy. There, that's better. Okay, and should we carry over the wood pattern onto this one? Uh, oh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm not a huge fan though. Uh, oh, why did that not change? Oh, balls. I think I just did something bad over here. Oh well. Uh, okay, and maybe we'll darken it a little bit. So it's not too matchy matchy with the rest of the room. Oh, I don't I don't even like that though. I just want it to be different from what else we have going on here. Could go like red. That's kind of badass. I don't know. Why, do I f why am I not happy with the color of this? I can't figure it out. Oh, maybe just like a nice sophisticated dark wood. Uh, you know why I'm not happy with this? I just realized why, because it's not the right one. <laughs> it, is, it is not the right one. Uh, I think, what about this from Supernatural? No. That, no. This is nice and traditional. Or we could go for the little one from Pets, but it's got horse's hooves on it, which I'm not really into. Or this. That looks like it's been kind of picked up on travels. Or oh, World Adventures. Decisions, decisions. What do we pick? Ooh. That is pretty cool. I have never used that before. But that is very big. And it takes up a lot of room. So I reckon we go back to this, wait, which one was it? Is it this one I used? Oh no, now I've forgotten. Oh no, we'll use this one. There we go, just a little bit more humble. Nice. And uh, we'll go with the beached look again. A little bit darker there. Maybe we'll pop a mirror on top of it just so they can check themselves out now and then. Or we could put these diesel stuff ones. Nah. We'll keep it with the simple, this one. 
Alrighty guys, uh, we'll continue on with their bedroom in the next part, but the- Oh, I see what I mucked up. The bedspread. Uh, I'm glad I just picked up on that right before we finished, because that would have been really frustrating for <laughs> most of you who noticed. Uh, oh. Deli, 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 derp, derp, derp. Okay, we'll pop that there. Pop that there. Go back to what we had, and I think it was roughly like... Was it around here? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.